So there are five changes for the home side, three for Woken after their 2-1 defeat on Saturday at home to Stockport. A changing goal as well with uh, Mark Smith coming in for Craig Ross who was ill on the way. Woken was going to be floated into the box, very central. The goalkeeper looking for a punch, didn't get there and eventually they can bring it away with Massa. Long ball forward now chasing Stadium. 31 years of age, he has been an ever-present in this squad and certainly is one of those Weymouth players to keep an eye on. Here's Kretschmar, 25 yards out from goal, got the strike away. And he had Fitzsimmons diving to his right. It's a really good clearance into the night sky as well. Good flick on which McNerney's there to it. It's Cordner there, the strike, way out. It was from the the same season as Woking were. From I think the Southern Premier or something like that. Ball is forward now. Shields low ball into the box, but no, he couldn't get there. And there was a good opportunity. Can't actually see who for, and they they want this one. A four. And we played just shy of 15 minutes. A loma way away. Lovely ball to find Massa slightly too strong a touch for. McCoy, Loza now bringing it forward, shaping up for the shot, gets the strike away, stung the hands of the goalkeeper, but little more else. Got an option on his overlap as well, Massa. Jamal Loza. This is better from the home side. Launch long, looking for McCoy. It's an excellent ball and a really good touch as well. And Weymouth are in the Woken box, low cross, headed away by McNerney. Really good build-up play from the home side, but the danger's not over for Woken with Leslie Smith now. Goes back to McCoy. McCoy has Leslie Smith on the overlap, doesn't use him. McCoy crossing to the box again. McNerney took a gamble there, and Bradley Ash was queuing up for the shot, nearly nicked it off. Scored in the 3 1 win here in August against Maidenhead United. Struggled for goals, Weymouth, throughout this season. Into the box it goes, thinking about Ash. McNerney was there, it's going to fall anyway to McCoy. Good save. They want Abel, won't get it in a clash of two Weymouth players. That's the closest they've come. Excellent shot and crucial save from Smith. Tonight, Wabuke is dispossessed, but Ince cleans up. Casey, good ball to find Ine Effiong now. Has time to turn, shakes off the challenge of Robinson. Chips it forward, looking for Kretschmann just slightly beyond him, but does get the touch there. Off blows the Campbell. Campbell strikes, bounces off the back of Harfield, I think it was. Morris hovering on the edge of the box. Casey, dribbles the ball in, looking for Wabuke, is nodded away by a Weymouth head, Kretschmar sweeps up, finds Loza, Loza takes it off him, Loza shaping up for the shot, it's low! And it was Campbell there, to the Woking half. Weymouth shooting from left to right, half field, it's poor, and McNerney can bring it away, but not really with much enthusiasm, offloads it to Campbell who beats one, still going tab on Campbell, and offloads to Jamal Loza now, Woking coming forward on the left side, Jamal Loza into the Weymouth box, twisting and turning the left footed cross, looking for Campbell, saves! Really good save from Fitzsimmons on target from Campbell, who puts his heads to his to his hands to his head. Glorious opportunity, and again, it's that man you want in that situation. Tabon Campbell, great work from Jamal Loza. But the danger's not over for the home side. Into the box from Kretschmar, nodded down by Effiong. Ince wrestling there, and actually wins it back fairly, says the referee. Offloads to Loza. Casey on the overlap. Casey still going. Challenged by McCoy. Was he barged off the ball fairly? Yes, says the referee. Into the box it comes again. Campbell with another header. No real power on that one. Josh with a couple of assists so far this season. Looking for another one here. It's a really good ball into the box. Knocked away by McCoy, I think it was. Ince. Finds Loza. Gets it back, Ince. Low ball into the box. Looking for Effiong. Just brought it down rather heavily. Looking to get the strike away. Twisting and turning. It's deflected. It's out for another corner. Back this time with Bouquet creeps to the edge of the D. But the big men are forward. Even Corin Lofthouse. Oh, Loftus is back rather, header there, back post, is it in? It is, and it's Tavon Campbell, his 12th goal of the season. He crept towards the back post, unmarked, knocked it in, and it was just an anxious wait for the linesman flag to give it. The flag was rose aloft. Really big header. Now with Wabuke, swept up by Leslie Smith to McCoy now. Leslie Smith. Turns back, it's beyond a loma way away, and Effiong is through here. Any Effiong now marching his way into the Weymouth box, gets it back onto his right foot. Effiong still going, gets the strike away, had options to his right. He does win a corner. 24 years of age. Dispossessed there though, 
was Cordner, finds Ince, finds Effion now through the middle, Effion with a strike away. It's a poor attempt at goal given the space he has to defend this well enough to edge towards half-time. The ball comes into the box, free header alone away, way. what a save from Smith. Low to his left, free header alone away, way. what a save. I think most of the Weymouth fans probably thought that was in. I think the Woking fans did as well. Hands down, he's made two crucial interventions this half and has kept Weymouth out twice. Into the team, no problem for Mark Smith. And at the other end, Effion couldn't find Loza with the first time, does the second time. Onside, Jamal Loza just struggling to bring the ball down. Still going, Croft turns away from Morgan. Beyond Kretschmar, now to Ince, Ince from range. Oh, and he clips the post. Out for a goal kick. Wrong-footed the goalkeeper. Turns in on Savon Campbell, really good ball down the line, which Casey had to get to. Falls to Ajnal on the edge of the box. Bradley Ash turns from Diara. Shields still going, here's the byline, low cross, it's beyond Smith, luckily Lofthouse was there. Four woke in, falls to Massenauer, hits it from range, the sliced effort, may even go out for a throw. Mark Smith wasn't near that one, Kyron Lofthouse was. Turning now is Shields, as Harfield to his left, finds him. It's a good ball in here, does Harfield, it's very central, header there, it's going to fall to Massa, just struggling to get the ball out of his feet, the shot comes in, excellent clearance from Kretschmar, falls to Robinson. Now with Cordner again, floating one forward, looking for Blair, Diara was there, in case he can bring it clear. Now to Loza, just gets the ball out of his feet and start one of these long runs, but finds a really good ball to Casey on the overlap. Casey driving forward for Woking, options to his right, Casey still going, deflected ball to Kretschmar. It was just wrong at the crucial stage and Casey can't walk back, he needs to run back because here come Weymouth getting out the pitch, back into the Woking half already. Here's Shields now, with McCoy to his left. So too, Bradley Ash and Harfield making ground the left back, but Shields still goes, looks for Ash, who's onside, referee. Uh, sorry, the Woking players looking for the offside, but don't get it. Ince with the challenge was just about good enough. Got the ball. Didn't get any of the man, no, says the referee. And Loza can bring it away for the visitors. Effion's asked for it quickly, he will get it. Effion onside, wins the header, falls to Ince, brings it down, lovely touch, Ince still going! What a finish from Rohan Ince! The free kick, played quickly, nodded down by Effion. Ince took a touch, then another, put the defender on the floor and tucked it away beyond Fitzsimmons, nothing the goalkeeper could have done. And Rohan Ince... Corner towards the back post, Loma Weiwei shaking off Musa Diara, the ball comes into the box, it's a header from Aloma Weiwei and they have one back, the home side. Tafik Aloma Weiwei, scorer here on Saturday, has scored here tonight. Just mentioned him creeping towards the back post, lost his marker. Loza, lovely trickery to find Kretschmar and they're coming forward the cards now, looking for Effiong, offloads to Loza, Loza gets the strike away! Good save by Fitzsimmons, down to his right. going on? Away from here, some Woking fans may want to shut their eyes from this coverage just for a minute, just why whilst Woking ride this storm, but we'll come back to it in a second because a long ball from Diara has found Effiong. Effiong and Loza getting each other's way and Loza nearly found his way around Morgan. Kretschmar goes sliding in, doesn't get it. Blair comes forward now. Good ship to his right, finds him. Numbers emerging in the box for the home side, takes it round Casey. Good ship still going, low strike. Just beyond the post. Former forward man, his former side in a couple of weeks. Up goes Effion for the header. Doesn't know where the ball's landed, he does now. Nicks it off Massa and then chests it down superbly. Effion still going. Effion with Alaraki to his right, plays the one-two. Effion gets it back, crucial clearance in the end by a Weymouth defender, couldn't see who. But a lovely one-two with Alaraki who made ground forward. The danger's not over now with Kretschmar. Kretschmar goes for goal, it's straight at Fitzsimmons. Campbell was anticipating the drop ball but Fitzsimmons kept his two hands on it. Referee blows his whistle, two-man Woking wall. Massa is going to go for goal, it's a really good strike and it's not a million miles wide either. Weymouth have gambled pretty much everyone forward here. Whistle blows, short pass, Taylor cross, oh, it's straight at Smith. Casey gives it back to Diara, flicked on by Kretschmar, finds Effion who just keeps it in play, now with Alarakia. Alarakia, short pass from Ince, finds Kretschmar, Campbell is through now, Campbell's through on goal, tab on Campbell! Three for Woking, a punch of the air from Alan Dowson and a brace from Tavon Campbell. Outstanding build-up play once again. And Tavon Campbell cannot believe the luck he is having in this league. 
you wouldn't say it's luck, it is just raw talent. McCoy, McCoy out to the right to find Morgan. Morgan, low ball into the box, it's beyond Casey. It former to McCoy, who I think to put that on the golf course behind that stand. And it comes, goes corner for the header at the back post, and it's in from Robinson. Well then, this game again is not over. Andy Robertson's turn to find the back of the net. In the way now, falls to Taylor Crossdale. Oh, I don't think Woking have done enough here. Ball into the box, Diara hacks it away, looking for Campbell. Back to goal, flicks it on to Alarakia. Effion to his right, uh, to his left rather. Effion trying to stay on side and is. Alarakia's on the overlap, Woking coming forward again. Effion finds Alarakia. Lofthouse and Effion are the only options in the box. Alarakia has to go himself. Turning away from Maloma Weiwei, manages to keep it in play, does he? Yes, says the referee. He's still going, he's managed to keep possession and finds Casey in the end. Casey can't lose the ball there and doesn't. Runs out of grass, however. Campbell's gone down here, but they're not going to care. They're just going to play on. Long ball forward, up goes McNerney. Diara wants his goalkeeper to come and get it, and he does. Campbell's still on the ground, but they're just going to have to halt proceedings here, and I think Campbell's going to have to come off. And Woken are going to have to finish this with 10 men because Tavon Campbell is really struggling. Away from Robinson, the Weymouth scorer. Low ball into Effiong in the box. He's in a shooting, shooting chance here. And uh, the ball on target, but it was blocked away. And Blair is firing forward on the right side now. When we're trying to get numbers. He's still going. Oh, Harfield could have got it there. Now with good chip. Square ball, Woken reminder with 10 players. They've got nine back at the minute because Effiong is just staying at the pitch. His Massa trying to get beyond Alaraki. Gets the strike on goal! Just over the crossbar, out for a goal kick. Away from Ince. Champion can get there, but only gives it back to Weymouth Sher, but it doesn't matter! There's the full-time whistle.